with the threat of the Banished, get your Spartans ready to take on the battle, no matter what they might encounter. From Mega Constructs Halo, this is the Turret Takedown. Apparently the UNSC is just breaking things. This isn't the only takedown set. Hell, it isn't even the only turret takedown. But this one from the Infinite line is a much smaller, usually a $10 set, sold in the US from Dollar General and Canada from Walmart. Is it just me, or with the set looking so basic, even repeating a similar figure from another set, does this look like it was originally a polybag promotion set that was upgraded to a full box set? It comes with two tan base plates, a plasma battery to blow up the turret, a purple plasma pistol, and gray UNSE tactical shotgun. The Banished Grunt conscript is nothing really new, and I'm not just talking about the sculpt, the exact deco and configuration was also seen in the recon getaway. But hey, this isn't a major set to begin with, and why not gather an army of these? It uses the new articulation with a rotating foot and a mask that's completely removable, revealing a very interesting face. The cheese whiz orange is weird, but doesn't really go with the tan body. It can be removed as well, and you've got the ultimate weapon, a nude grunt. Metallic green reach style Spartans are certainly common at the time of the set's release. Not that I'm complaining because it's gorgeous, but in a twist, this time it is featured on the UNSC Spartan Hazop, giving the set something reoccurring yet new. With the new articulated form, the figure features a dark gray undersuit, gray secondary color for the armor, a default chest with a painted knife, FJ shoulders, and of course the Hazop helmet with gray highlights and a metallic orange visor. I hope he's good at his job. I mean, sure, he's fighting the Grunt, but he's got some equipment. To protect the Grunt, the set includes a barricade built up from only four pieces. Seems pretty basic, especially considering there's an alternate version from another set that fills the gaps in between. I don't really mind, it's simple enough. I'm not certain if the turret is based on something specific or just something put together for a build considering how simple it feels. The set itself doesn't feel like it was intended for newly molded pieces, just something small to hit the shelf. I mean, it's not too boring, the legs fill themselves up enough, keeping a pretty okay shape. The front ones can move side to side, plus there's a clear base so you can't simply push it and collapse it. However, most of it uses simple tiles and plates, creating a pretty blocky and plain looking object. At least there's one specialized piece on the back, and with the empty section tiled off, the grunt can hold onto the handles and man the turret to defend himself. But what kind of turret would it be without, well, the turret itself? It uses the typical short projectiles that can fire off with the two side by side. There's an additional four spares. Funny how LEGO might just give you one while Mega Constructs triple in stock. The one issue, and it's probably my biggest issue with the entire set, is the lack of one piece here. They really couldn't put just one piece to add some sort of detail to finish out the look or add some consistency to the color scheme since most of it is dark red and gray. There's so many different things they could have added. You could even use one of the pieces included if you have to. Anything's better than this. Aside from the glaring flaw that becomes super distracting, if I have to describe the set in a single word, it would be filler. It's not bad, the figures are fine, and it helps mass the army, especially the banished with little things, but it might be too simple for the expectations of Halo sets. Still, it's alright. 